Right, and I, I was going to say that, you know, the beauty of this film is I kept sitting there thinking, where did they get, like, there's all this film, there's all this footage of him walking on the street, looking fly, looking fashionable, be out there protesting. Uh, it, it gave this, it gave your documentary, your film, this, a, a power that I did not expect, but also the way this, the way the documentary is is put together um, where you see him going from um, tennis, you know, tennis champion um, who is practicing what folks call respectability politics to the sweep of him becoming this full-throated activist. And Sam, I'm just wondering, as we're watching this film and we see how long we watch this journey of him becoming an activist, I'm just wondering if you think, uh, do today's athletes, specifically uh, black athletes feel, athletes feel almost obligated to speak out against injustices? I, I think they have a responsibility. And I think that some of them understand that and they do that now. I mean, we have Colin Kaepernick and we all know what he did, which was courageous, you know, basically, you know, he, he basically killed his career, but he knew what he had to do by taking a knee. I mean, you got LeBron James, who also always speaks out. You got Naomi Osaka, Coco Goff, others who just speak out now. And they all, if they don't really quite know the history, they are standing on the shoulders of the Jackie Robinsons and the Arthur Ashes and the Bill Russells and the Jim Browns and the Tommy Smith and the John Carlos's. You know, so I think they understand it. I think the other thing that's interesting, though, and we, we, I interviewed Harry Edwards a couple of weeks ago for another project I'm working on. And what's interesting is that these athletes are also living during a time where, particularly in these franchises they belong to, like the NBA or Major League Baseball, where the, these organizations are giving them the ability to speak out without consequences. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to talk much about the NFL, but, but the NBA definitely is giving them room. Now, you know and I know that in the 60s, these these leagues weren't that open to their athletes speaking out, you know. Right. But now they understand that because, you know, in all honesty, it's it's, it's, it's part of it is about understanding that this is a, this is an important time to speak out. Also, it's also about the you know the the, the number of players who play in the NBA are black players and and they and they have a lot of fans, so the NBA understands that too. So it's also about capitalism. So I'm not going to like mm -hmm. <laughs> disregard that. 